Hello there! In this video I am going to show you the process of me creating this artwork called The Riot. Let's head over to the details of this project. As I already said, this project is called The Riot. It took me about 3 hours to create and it contains 10 different images. It includes 28 smart objects and 76 layers in total. The PSD file size is 250 megabytes and the resolution is 4K with a 16 to 9 format which is actually perfect for your desktop. And I used a drawing tablet for this artwork. Now that we have some information, let's start with creating the artwork. Step 1. Creating the background. So first I started with cropping out the plain rack. As you can see in the video right now, I used a different masking technique than usual because the plane had many tiny rack pieces sticking out of it. I will put a link for that technique in the description so you guys can learn how and when to use it. When the plane was cut out, I added some rocks and stones to really get that devastated atmosphere. After that, I started adding the shadows for the rocks by using adjustment layers. I really took my time there to get the shadows as accurate as possible. Now leading on with step 2, adding the flames. So for this step I started with adding those beautiful fire overlays I found on Unsplash. I transformed and added them to the plane windows. I also added one bigger fire to the front of the plane and I needed to add some fire spark overlays to the flames to make them look real. The next thing a really good fire needs is big dark smoke. I painted the smoke with a grey and black color tone to get a little bit of depth for the smoke itself. Furthermore, I added a little bit of glow by using an orange color tone and blending modes. I also began to draw the highlights for the objects which were close to the fires. Last but not least, I roughly mask out a factory kind of thing to add more contrast to the background. For this, I also used the masking technique which I mentioned earlier. Let's go on with step 3, the flag. Okay, this part is actually my favorite part of the whole project because I really enjoyed drawing the flag. I started with the basic shape of the flag and filled it up with a red color. Next I wanted to have some ripped pieces so I added them by erasing parts of the edge. Next I drew my highlights and my shadows with a slightly darker or brighter tone to create the illusion of a 3 dimensional object.
Now on to the last step, the person. Now the background is completely finished and it's time to add the person. I chose this image of this guy because he kinda went with the overall style of destruction and the pose was perfect too. I cropped him out and tried to fix the colors of him which was actually not that easy. As a result of not being able to match the colors to the background with adjustment layers, I downloaded the skin color palette and simply painted the skin tone onto his arms and his head. Last but not least I added some highlights to the guy too and now the artwork is completely finished. Thank you for joining me today, I hope you learned something new. If you like my content feel free to subscribe to this channel and I'm looking forward seeing you in my next video.